How about that station 949? 949, do you copy Northeast Corner, United States, State of Maine? I've got a copy on the state of Maine station here in New Zealand, uh, station operator Bob waving a hand. Yes, New Zealand, uh, Bob, personal here is also Bob, been listening to you for the last five minutes. Uh, you're coming in very good here into the state of Maine, uh, northeast corner of the United States. Uh, so I've been listening to you and uh, you got an excellent signal here. I'm on a four element quad and I'm on the horizontal side beaming west. Oh, I'll tell you, Bob, uh, yeah, that's a nice uh, signal, mate. I've got a nice 9 dB on your station and uh, audio 2.5. Yeah, thank you, you uh, Bob, for coming in uh, tomorrow this evening, mate. Uh, fine signal. He also running a, a quad myself, only it's a uh, three-element quad. Uh, 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 home brew, homemade myself. Uh, made it from a PDL2 uh, and tuned it into a three-element quad. Uh, uh, I fit it with a, a one-to-one bell in there, uh, Bob. So, uh, yeah, nice one, mate. Thank you for uh, saying hello to uh, me, uh, QSL. Yes, yes, uh, very exciting. You know, you're about as far away from me radio-wise as I can get. So, and uh, that's very cool on the homemade uh, antenna, the three-element quad. I'm on a four-element quad made by White Lightning Antennas, White Lightning Antennas. And uh, Striker 955, I'm using a little bit of outboard audio. And uh, like I said, it's always uh, exciting when you can work, uh, especially uh, right now. Like I heard you say earlier, you had a pathway or a portal to that other station and I think I was hearing some other stations that maybe are local or somewhere in your region that came up, but they seem to have disappeared. So right now, you're the only person I'm hearing uh, there, Bob. Back to you. Uh, that, that's fine, mate. Yes, uh, there's other station in there. Um, he was also from Christchurch, a uh, uh, fellow friend, uh, Don. Uh, he was on the side too there, mate. Uh, yes, but, uh, you know, no nice one there, Bob. Um, you know, your three elements uh, doing a great job. Um, it's actually fantastic, you mate. Uh, uh, you strike a 955 uh, sounding fan fabulous to you, mate. Uh, very, very nice uh, audible uh, uh, audio, um, very nice and clear. And uh, a little bit of uh, outboard uh, audio by the sounds of yours, so what you said there, too, mate. So sounding fantastic, mate. Yeah, I'm running a little bit of Behringer gear here, three pieces of uh, Behringer gear. Uh, running a Yates 2 SDX uh, 1200. And uh, my microphone's a uh, uh, PR40 uh, Hell microphone there, uh, Bob, back to you. Oh, okay, cool. On the PR40 in the uh, in the ham rig, yeah, I'm using uh, for my outboard audio. I'm using a Zoom R8 and an inexpensive uh, condenser microphone. It's kind of like a podcasting setup, but um, I it, it works pretty well. And uh, yeah, my antenna is about 50 feet up, and uh, I have two towers here on the property. Uh, this one tower houses my quad and a few other antennas. And the other in t uh, tower houses my Omni that I use mostly for local. And uh, I got a few antennas over there as well. And uh, one tower tilts over and the other tower has a hazer on it. So, um, yeah, it's an excellent station. I don't know if you're on Facebook or anything like that. Um, but I am rolling a uh, video gate on us here. So if you're on Facebook or I don't know anything like that, maybe I could look you up on there and I could give you a copy of the video gate once I get it edited. Back to you, Bob. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's cool, mate. No problem to tell you, Bob. I'm here. Yeah, no, I'm uh, 41 Broad Radio 4169. And also uh, 41 uh, November Bravo 4169. There's two of you, mate. So, uh, yeah, no, that, that'll be fantastic. Hey, no problem to tell. Well, um, uh, well, man, I'll tell you what, if I'm uh, half as good as what you are at the moment, with you, mate, and it's nice to hold the QSO for quite a while. It's not sort of dropping off. Um, you're still in the, uh, in the uh, QSO there, Bob. So, uh, Hey, my good friend out in the state of Maine, out there in that uh, a very far part of uh, stateside, uh, that's for sure. Um, well, I'll tell you what, mate, I've got a small community here, and I do appreciate your time there, Bob. Yeah, copy that. Uh, yeah, I, co I copied World Radio 4169. You maybe have to try it again. Maybe uh, give me your info again. Um, just to make sure I got it. I go by, uh, on Facebook, I go by Freddie Burns. Uh, Freddie Burns on Facebook. And uh, it's all CB stuff on there. But maybe uh, before you clear off, could I maybe get that information one more time? Yeah, no, that's 100% correct there, Bob. Yes, I'm 41, World Radio 4169. Uh, that is 100% there right uh, there, Bob. Uh, QSK number one. Uh, uh, Freddie Burns uh, on your Facebook there, too, mate. I've written it down there. So, uh, yeah, no, that's all good there, Bob. You're 100% on my call there, QSL. 
Okay, Bob, I'll uh, I'll keep trying. I'll look it up. Uh, 4169 World Radio or World Radio 4169. Um, I'll keep trying to look it up. But, yeah, I'm on a few of the CB groups and stuff like that too. And um, But, uh, anyways, I um, <clears throat> I don't want to keep you if you want to get going. But, yeah, it's, it's kind of nice to be able to hold a conversation with you here and uh, not, not have to uh, – sometimes when you guys come in from your part of the world – uh, it fades out quickly, and uh, the path is holding very well tonight. Back to you. You know, now I'm not in too far, far fast uh, a move here, mate. I'm just uh, sitting in the shack here with my wife, and uh, you yeah, mate, it's nice, mate. It's a very nice uh, part of the day here in the afternoon uh, here in New Zealand, uh, and it's a very nice day, here, mate. And the doors open, and uh, yeah, we're in our springtime, of course, and uh, you guys are into your uh, getting into your winter time, there, mate. So uh, yeah, you definitely are uh, enjoying the QSO, there, mate. Go ahead. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, I, I searched Facebook a little bit while you were talking there. And, uh, yeah, it's about 10 o'clock at night here. And um, so, yeah, my wife went to bed. We, we were all sick earlier this week, and my wife's still feeling it a little bit. So she went to bed a little early tonight. And uh, I think I found a reference to you on the Kiwi and Kangaroo uh, South uh, Pacific CBDX group, but I'm still looking for you. I'm sure I'll find you. I'm getting close here. <laughs> Copy that. Yeah. Yeah, I heard you said you were watching the game earlier, and um, we had some nice weather here today. It's definitely getting to be fall up here, and uh, I've been taking it easy. I was outside. I was pulling stumps on my tractor today, and um, <clears throat> I got a couple stumps pulled, and I had to fix. There was a blown line on the on the hydraulic line. I had to get that fixed, and um, then we pulled a couple stumps out. They're pretty big stumps. I got to get my neighbor to help me. I got them rip. I got them loosened up out of the ground, but I got to get them loaded up. See if I can. Uh, there's a guy let me dump them in a hole that he's got on his property. So, um, you know, that's what we're up to over here today. And and um, and uh, yeah. So uh, I I still look. I still haven't come up. So when you say World Radio 1469, is it just WR 4169? Or is it like spelled out World Radio four one six nine? How how would I? F I'm not having any luck finding you. Yeah, yeah. On, on, on Facebook, I'm uh, Kiwi Bob World Radio. So if you if you want to look uh, me up on uh, on Facebook, I'm uh, Kiwi Bob World Radio. That is uh, Kiwi Bob World Radio. Uh, that's on uh, Facebook, and my call sign is forty one uh, World Radio uh, four one uh, nine. Uh, 41 World Radio uh, 4169. Copy 100%. Just amazing how you and I are talking like this. And I found you a nice picture of that three element quad. And um, that's very nice. I have a four element quad. Looks very nice. I sent you a request. And like I said, I'm rolling a, I'm rolling a gate on you. And um, <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll whip something up a little later. If not tonight, it's getting kind of late here. I think you said it was 3 p.m. where you are. So uh, you're you're right into Sunday afternoon. <laughs> I'm still in Saturday evening here, so uh, I'll probably be going to bed soon. But yeah, I definitely found you. I see I see that antenna. That antenna is a real sharp looking antenna. Oh well, thank you. well, thank you, dear Paul. We do appreciate your uh, kind uh, compliments, mate. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I've um, been a big fan uh, of uh, the quads uh, for quite a long time. 
I just sat off on the trail and it, uh, uh, it, uh, uh, I was getting um, problems with uh, when I was receiving signals uh, being a half wave. Mother Nature would uh, change the polarization of the signals and uh, move around and uh, wasn't, I wasn't quite hearing quite a lot of stations in the last cycle. Uh, so I did a little bit of homework and uh, here's the reason why I fall to the quad is because it's the full, full wave um, uh, antenna. And now Mother Nature can move that polariz uh, polarization any way she wants. So I'm still going to hear the signal and going to hear you perfectly, mate. So, uh, yeah, pretty much the uh, uh, main reason why I've got the uh, quad to your cell. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, I really enjoy the antenna that I have. Um, as a matter of fact, I was on my Omni and I, I flipped over to the quad and, you know, it's like there's a whole nother, there's just all these signals that you're not hearing on the Omni. And uh, it just makes such a huge difference on this quad when I'm talking to people. And also it's a very quiet antenna as well. And uh, your signal's been, you know, obviously it's conditions, but your signal's been very consistent. It's been anywhere between S7 and S9. So it's been it's been incredible. And um, I, I'm glad I spent a little money on this antenna, but I, I definitely don't regret the purchase on it. And um, <clears throat> it's been, it, and, and it's a light antenna too. It really doesn't have a lot of wind load or anything. I mean, it, it it does take up like physical space, but really there's not a lot of wind load and there's really not a lot of weight to it either. Okay, uh, you were telling us yes, I, I couldn't uh, say it any better myself. Uh, yes, they are not, not, not a very uh, heavy antenna. Uh, maybe, maybe not the strongest, but uh, as long as you, uh, you know, keep them conditioned and, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of uh, letting the uh, wind go um, uh, through, through the antenna. Uh, on the side rather than uh, uh, through the face of the antenna. Yeah, I, I don't like the antenna um, face on to, to the wind. Uh, over the years, I've been having a lot um, and man, tell you what, back here in uh, the South Island of New Zealand, uh, we get a lot of strong winds and we, we don't get them all the time, but um, you know, when we get them, and we get them quite a bit, uh, you know, uh, you know, I, I, <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I've, I've spent a little bit of time on uh, doing a few uh, versions. Um, pretty much up to my third version. Uh, the antenna's been up there for about, uh, maybe about four years now, so, uh, you know, we want them to stay up there. But otherwise, uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'm, uh, I enjoy it. I've uh, made so many contacts here, Bob, and I'll, I'll never change the antenna, mate. Um, <laughs> i always uh, have a quad deck to <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean, Bob. I do the same thing. I have a weather station here, and a lot of our wind prevails from the north. So when I'm not using my antenna, I tend to park it and I point it into the wind. And um, but where I'm at, I'm kind of in I'm kind of in the woods. I'm on the side of a hill, but I'm on a wooded private kind of lot back here. And um, our, so we don't get a lot of wind. I mean, we get wind, but we don't get crazy wind down here because the trees really break the wind. Uh, the biggest issue that we have that's a problem for antennas is we get that wet, heavy snow and icing in the winter, and that can destroy these quads. Um, so far, I've had good luck. The um, uh, not uh, what is it? The the enamel on the wire. Um, I haven't had any issues with anything sticking to the elements. Fortunately, uh, this antenna has been up for a couple years, so that's been good. But um, I know what you mean about you know you got to kind of watch them. But, um, you know, I can lower the tower down if I need to, if I'm concerned about it. But so far, it's it's held up okay. But like I said, I'm kind of in a protected area here in the woods. I just got to watch out for the uh, for the snow and the ice because that can destroy these antennas in pretty quick order. But I'm you're well aware of that there, Bob. Over to you. Uh, yeah, no, 100% there, Bob. Yeah, um, yeah, well, that's the one thing we don't have to worry about in my part of the world here down here in New Zealand. As uh, the the cold and uh, you know the um the cold snow and the and the and the you know snappy weather when it gets so cold it can uh, really uh yeah uh you know it's not good for the antennas there um yeah they just have to put up with mother nature there mate and um our prevailing wind our, our strongest winds um oh it's hard to say really um in the in the winter time our southwest is our our prevailing uh, winter wind a very very strong nasty nasty wind and uh, storm. Southwest they can be very, 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 very nasty in the winter time, and then of course in the summertime here in New Zealand, here in the South Island, our northwest winds, 
So sort of changing a little bit. So our northwest wind, our warm uh, wind, uh, that's a very nasty wind also. Uh, that kicks up during the day uh, um, all the time. Uh, whereas the southwest uh, on the winter is uh, pretty much a night time afternoon thing. So then again during the day too there, Bob. So, uh, you know, I, 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 you know if the antenna's done well, mate. It's stayed up there. I'm pretty much, uh, I think I've had in uh, the court now for the last... Um, Oh man, I, I, I'd say 15 years I've had my quad, 15 years I've gone through, this is my, none's ever broken, uh, but uh, this is my third version, and this is my uh, my, be my, my best version there mate, so, uh, but I am going to pull it down again, and uh, I've got some, uh, I've got a new balance, uh, I've got some new coax, uh, to, to, uh, my coax has uh, been up there, it's still okay, but I've got some new uh, nice coax. Yeah, so I'm going to do an upgrade there, mates, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing it when I get the chance to do the QSL. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bob, I know what you mean. you got to maintain them, and uh, I do the same thing. I bring mine down once a year, and I check all the hardware, and I check the rotor, and and um, <clears throat> yeah, mine, my rotor's mounted on the inside of my tower probably about, oh, uh, I don't know, maybe about... I don't know, four feet down inside the tower, and then I got a thrust bearing, and uh, I probably don't need something that heavy duty, but I have it, and then, um, you know, it, it works, and I just, you know, kind of keep an eye on it, check everything, but so far, so far, so good, you know, maybe that's why we, <laughs> maybe that's why we've been so lucky here uh, with the conditions, is uh, maybe it's because we got two quads pointing at each other here, I don't know, who knows. Or, like I said, it's probably just Mother Nature. But um, <laughs> I was listening up on 37 and 38, and I was hearing people in Australia. And I said, well, they're, they're definitely there. And I started tuning it around the band, and I heard you down here talking with somebody. And I said, okay, yeah, we definitely got conditions. So that's when I said I'll start listening and see who I can talk to out there. Back to you, Bob. Oh, that's, that's just uh, see, that's what it's all about. You know, when the band's open, you know, you, you know it's open because, you know, you just, uh, you get your scan and make the frequency and you can uh, hear all the stations there, mate. But, uh, yeah, I was talking to my good friend, uh, uh, Parker. Uh, I was talking to Station 949 in Northern California. Uh, I've uh, met Parker and I've uh, had the pleasure of talking to him on the radio for over 20 years. Um, yeah, he's a very, very special operator, a very good friend of mine. So, uh, you know, uh, um, yeah, I, 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 uh, yeah, I always uh, get to, uh, that when, when, when I say when I said I was on a portal, uh, talking to uh, my, my friend in Northern California, uh, my, uh, you know, uh, I've talked to him for so long. And, and yeah, he's, he's very elevated, though. He's, um, I think, 2,500 feet above sea level. Uh, but it makes it uh, really nice and nice and uh, uh, he's, a, he's a great contact and he, man, I tell you what, um, I learned a lot from him uh, when I first on the radio and just sort of uh, talk and, uh, you know, and yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, I suppose, and, you know, you've got to keep it interesting and, you know, I like to have a yak and uh, have, a, have a talk and, yeah, I suppose have a waffle like my wife and sent me up off, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I think I did hear your wife in there earlier uh, say hi to Parker. And oh, that's cool. You got to meet him, and you guys have had a friendship that long, in and over the radio like that, with him being in California and you being in New Zealand. That's uh, that's really special. Uh, that's kind of cool. You got you guys have been able to keep that up like that, and it's fun when the radio conditions let friends talk over the radio like that. That's excellent. And um, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. He you said two thousand feet. I'm about four hundred and fifty feet uh, where I am, but. You know, in the state of Maine, we're kind of a coast. Well, you know, I'm probably only 10 miles from the coast by air. So I'm not very far from the ocean. Uh, I am inland. But, um, you know, I'd be categorized as what we call southern. I'm in what we call southern Maine. And, uh, you know, obviously the farther into Maine you go, the hills can get a lot bigger. You know, you can people are up a few thousand feet. But uh, I'm kind of close to the coast over here in Maine. Over to you, Bob. Oh, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah, no, definitely Mother Nature, you know. We can't, uh, you know, and, you know, we can't uh, try and, uh, you know, and also, of course, the uh, uh, same antenna, you know, the quad, quad, um, over the years of, um, you know, being on the radio and also uh, talking to antennas, you know, don't get me wrong, it, it doesn't matter what you mean, you know, I suppose, but, uh, 
Yeah, Bob. All right. Well, you know, I'll let you go. And um, it was a nice chat with you. I don't know if there's other people in there. I don't know if you've had other people trying to call back to you. I haven't been hearing anybody calling back to me. But, um, yeah, I'll wrap it up with you. And, uh, yeah, it was fun. Uh, who knows how long these conditions will hold out here. <laughs> uh, I imagine they'll fade out eventually. But uh, it was good talking to you. And um, <clears throat> I'll say 732. It was nice to meet you. I did send you a friend request over on Facebook, and uh, I will uh, put this video gate together when I get an opportunity. And, um, you know, I'll send it over to you. I'll provide you a link where you can go check it out. But, uh, Bob, it was nice talking to you. Uh, I think it's World Radio 4169. This is, uh, I go by the radio man on the radio, uh, 260, but the personal here is Bob, Bravo, Oscar, Bravo. And uh, I'll send it back to you for a final. And uh, it was very nice to meet you. And uh, it was very nice uh, to have a conversation with you. And I uh, look forward to talking to you again. Uh, back to you. Oh, no worries at all, Bob. Man, hey, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm smiling, mate. Hey, I'm, um, yeah, talk to the radio a little bit. You know, um, it's not, uh, you know, it's like, you know, <laughs> sometimes when people want to say hi, I'm by, and, you know, I'm like, oh, man, you know, but, uh, no, it's, uh, it's been a real pleasure, my friend. All right there, uh, Mr. Uh, Radio Man uh, 260. I think that's what you said before. Um, absolutely a, a pleasure, and uh, all the best to you and yours, and I hope the one uh, 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 comes uh, good very soon, you, my friend. And, uh, yes, yeah, so I really hope I can get to talk to you again, eh? Um, and please, uh, yeah, please scan around, and if you hear me, give us a call. That's for sure. All right, uh, this station operator, Bob. Uh, my good friend, Bob. Yeah, thank you very much. And I feel the same way. It's sometimes you get disappointed when people just want to say hi and bye. It's always nice to have a little conversation about things. And, uh, well, I'm sure I, I hope to talk to you again. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, isn't that interesting? <laughs> 